So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're coming to the end of what has been a great week here in Ischia. Happy training. And my topic is Paso Doble. And under the headline of today, what do I expect from my partner? We're going to try and basically go into a little bit, not only the partnering thing, but deeper than this. What is Paso Doble? Because, like Domi so greatly said in his lecture earlier this week, if you don't know who you are and what you are trying to do, or what you are trying to arrive at, then it will never be possible to arrive to your goals. That means every dance that you do has to have for you a deep understanding. You have to have a deep understanding of the actual dance and that dance, this character that you are going to do. Paso Doble has a very, very clear message and unfortunately one that sometimes seems to be forgotten these days because of <coughs> exaggerated developments in the dance but what this dance is supposed to mean is and some of you probably think it's like a cliche it's the situation of a matador using a cape. Now very often, if I tell couples today about that, or even I don't come to the point of saying it, but I said, what does Paso Doble mean to you? The first word that comes out of their mouth is challenge and attack. And then, from the girls, I want to be aggressive. I said, do you know what a cape is, dear, to the girl? And she said, yes. How does an aggressive cape, what does that look like? So she said, what do you mean? And I said, well, a cape is basically, if you imagine it, a piece of material that creates a volume movement that kind of waves on the periphery, on the circumference of its limit. And it is amazing how many young dancers today become surprised when we're talking about this. And even more surprised when they realize very often in their choreography they're not able to even show any or very little of that characteristics. I would like to say one thing also that has to do with this. Paso Doble is a man's dance. And it's not because the lady has to be a piece of material that I'm saying that. But it is a man's dance very much by the mere fact that the whole story of the bullfight has a very, very deep meaning, especially with the Spanish people. Because it's in that country or in Mexico as well, Spanish-speaking countries, that the bullfight still takes place, even today. And when I say that the Paso Doble is a man's dance, it is because the man's characteristics of posture and stance, and how he 
maneuvers the lady in this dance not losing the intentions of what the character of the dance is that is the most important part of this dance for the Spanish people and I would like to talk about this or tell you this and the meaning of it is very important the Spanish people's tradition of celebrating or almost being fans of a matador is because that man is showing a kind of courage that the Spanish people admire and it's a kind of courage that comes from an old saying and thinking that he is alone with a dangerous animal in an arena and he has no weapons in theory except a piece of material even the piece of material does not help him try to forget or it doesn't make him change his mind of what he is there to do and that is one simple thing he is putting his courage at risk because he's supposed to fight the bull and its horns with the pelvic area of his body so his pelvic area will have to be exposed open towards the bull and then the thing is if he ever gets hit there he is finished as a man and that pride is the worst that you could lose in the eyes of Spanish people all over the world now if you have understood that philosophy the man would do, use certain muscles in his body to achieve that purpose now today I have been lucky enough to get not only the lady of Latin American dancing to ex assist me here today but also her great husband Mirko I'm talking about Gaina Fairweather and Mirko Sakane wonder what the skirt does Gaynor oh, yeah. isn't it <laughs> now all of you basically practice rumba walks every day well if you're serious enough but the walking action in the Paso Doble is as important to practice. Now again, can I ask you to just go to the opposite side of Mirko? And I'm just gonna get the two of you mm -hmm, to approach each other with a walking action. Have you already seen Mirko's attitude of body posture? The lady is answering to that. Right. Walk around and he decides 
to take her into hold. Okay. Now, part of the secret of that walk, apart from the actual positioning pelvic attitude, was that you saw that there was always, especially on anything that resembled towards a centered position, a resisting, almost side movement towards the other person. Okay? Just walk around one more time. Right. Walking across. Side. Walking across. Side. Yes. Walking. Right. And he has got her in frame. Okay. No, no. no I just wanted you to stay in frame. I am going to ask Mirko and Gaina to dance a step that is so characteristic of the story Matador with the cape. And the step is called Shatse Cape. Right. Three, four and one. Okay. He leads her across onto and a repetition. Four and one. He leads her across and four and one. Okay. Now, if you can imagine now, Gainer is supposed to symbolize material that is floating around and being brought to the other side. And now he decided to dress himself in it. <laughs> okay. The uh, important thing that you see Mirko and Gaina getting together, but I'm going to use Mirko alone here for a moment. Mm -hmm. So. He has an essential feeling of having a challenging uh, hip position yes, towards whatever is in front of him. And then he is wanting to lower, yeah, lower that person into what we call a scooping and traveling action. Now, never ever did his hip position lose that position, whether he was on straight legs or whether he was on compressed legs. Zoom. Right, okay. If he takes his cloak in his arms, okay. Now, and when I said, wait a minute, Linda, I said I very often see or get the answer from the dancers that the thing has to be a challenge and it has to be aggressive at all times. We love to be able to have softness within, yeah, with, within the sharpness. Now he is actually now maintaining frame, lowering, and she's answering, getting into the character, right? Now just look at that great woman's characteristic attitude in head and body. Can we do that again? Four and one. Okay. Now, he's leading her around. Now the one thing we do not, I'm going to ask you to turn shoulder and hip now. Zoom. Right. Now if we think, can he... Go back to where you are. Okay. He is leading a cape around and his hip is still staying. And he has a later arrival on that, but maintaining that position until he again, through frame, yes, can lead her into the same position again. Walk. Okay. Can we do another chasse cape? 
Can you do the chasse cape where we then on the counter promenade go into like a gypsyish attitude? Now, we have just now stayed on Matador Cape. Okay? Now, three and walking it around and zababa and zua and he's playing ready <laughs> she played actually <laughs> here we go again four and the one and the two and the three four and the one two <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, we're not aiming at anything specific, Mirko. Just go for attitude. And four and the one and the two, three. Four and the one, two, three. Just okay. Right. Thank you. Now, another very, very important, and I'm going to do this with you. <laughs> so, we have situations, you don't even know this, okay, where the lockstep is being taught as a lock and go. Right? The reaction tells you that that wasn't really the case. Right? So, technically, you are, from the lowering here, you're bringing a parallel, and then you are replacing. And you always have a chair dropping action on this step for the lady. Why? First of all, it has great quality. Secondly, it actually creates the correct resistance for the next scooping and grand walk around. Now, can we move on to a simple... What would you, what would you like to do? The twist turn or the promenade walks? Twist turn. Twist turn. Another characteristic step that has matador and cape in mind. And she's calling right and quick quick and slow slow quick quick and one right and now send her off. Uh huh, very good. <laughs> now, what I, what I particularly like right here, I'm going to ask you to do this slowly actually. You know, the moment he's just twisted and passed, can you stop? right at that moment and twist right there even here is he maintaining the character of even moving the leg outside the whole position of the posture and the idea of the challenge he l okay another thing we are collecting and lowering the lead again. He's standing. He's turned away from the cape. Okay? He's leading her outside. Quick, quick. Again. And would you do one more and stop right there? Note the resistance at hip level. Yes? We're gainer. Obviously, right now, is using whatever sentiment that is giving her, right? 
and then switch it around. Thank you. Okay. All vital ingredients, all vital ingredients to maintain the look of this dance, to make sure that the man never forgets who he is, the role he is playing, and then knowing also what to do in letting a lady have freedom to breathe and freedom to dance, sometimes a soft back, sometimes a closer position, to be within the role play of trying to make Show, get across to all of you, audience, judges, whatsoever, the meaning of this dance. Now, I said before that the walks are extremely important in this dance. And we have a situation which ladies seem to have difficulty in understanding and that is a cape and if it gets yes placed and the man is moving out of this that cape will never try and beat you to it so it's always a resistance now with that resistance gainer is now still great on leg action. Look, she's not on that foot, she's maintaining, just walk again. Sorry, whoom, whoom, right. And I always get the feeling that I dance with somebody that knows exactly what she's trying to portray with that little information, darling, you're going to be a cave. Right? Now, <laughs> another thing with the walks in Paso Doble is that you are basically always walking with the resistance. You're never letting that dr drive you and walk afterwards unless you may be staying in a position and then you pick up resistance again the moment you walk. Now, can we try our little promenade, counter promenade combination? Right. Walking, rolling from the feet. He's leading her into counter there's never a doubt. Zap! Grand circle. Right. Beautiful. Thank you very much. It's not easy to dance with gain a favor. I think Mirko's got great guts. <laughs> now, just to finish, Paso Doble, of course, is the one dance that we don't have a great choices of music. What well, we have is just that most of the ones that get presented to us are unused. You can't use. Now, the Espana Cani has been there for years and is with us today and I think it's going to be there for the future. So you know as competitors, as experienced competitors, this is the dance where you very often choreograph your work to fit to a certain piece of the music. 
And because we have a situation like today, you know, one of the famous places in this dance that we very often put a lot of work and stress to choreograph to the music is a small section between the second and the first, first and second highlight just before the fanfare. Now, I don't know, this isn't that planned actually. <clears throat> Sometimes Gaynor and Mirko do shows together with Donny and his wife, Nicole. And I do know that they <clears throat> had a little piece in Paso Doble that they did in a show that consists of a nice little foot combination. Now, do um, you think we can get Dolly Burns to join them? This was done a year and a half ago. Thanks for the memory. Mirko, are you going to be here? <laughs> Do you want some music? No. <laughs> <coughs> Shall I count? Da and dum dum ba uh, ya da 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 da. Da da ya pa da pa pa, pa pa yam pa 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 la ya da 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 da, pa pa la pa da pa pa, pa da 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 da. Okay, play it, play it, play it. There is no doubt about the greatness of these dancers. And you know all very, very well, they're dedicated to their trade, they come, or to the art. They study, they find whatever little thing that it is possible to research and do to express and achieve at a great artistic product and um, I myself can only say that I am 
very proud to even be counted as some of the people that have been part of these dances development. To all of you, thank you for being so showing that you really, really take what you do so seriously. You all look like you have tremendous hunger for knowledge. You have been through hours and hours of lessons, classes, seminars, lectures here for these five days. And I do have admiration for all of you. And I have a great respect and I'm thanking Jerry and Katerina for letting situations like the one we have here in Iskia today be a reality.